Okay, I keep getting asked what vehicles were run in a, a Dell Precision T5400. As people know, I have the T5400 and 7400. Okay, the T5400 power that runs video cards maxes out at 150 watts. The 7400 maxes out at 225 watts. Both systems have two six pin connectors in it. Now, there's an 8-pin in there, but forget that. That's not really made for video cards. It's a different kind of hookup. So when you see that, don't think, oh, I got an 8-pin, because you really don't. Okay. Now, what will run in the T5400? Well, I put a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte version in there, because that's the fastest card you can get that runs off a 6-pin. Now, if you're going to use an adapter, you could use a 1070 because it is a 150 watt card. The 1070 Ti is a 180 watt card. So it's out. Um, now I'm not saying there isn't ways of wiggling it in there and working out by using other hookups and all that kind of stuff. But I don't get into all that. You know, you, that's your own risk there. But the 1070 with a straight 6 to 8 pin adapter will work. I haven't ever tried it, but in my research I've seen where other people have done it and they say it works fine. So, 1070, not 1080. Now, the T7400 maxes out at 225 watts. So, the uh, 1080 runs on 225 watts. The 1080 Ti runs on 250, so it's automatically out. But, the 1080, I wouldn't put that in there either. The fastest card I'd put in there would be the 1070 Ti. Now here's why, and a lot of people's gonna laugh about this, that fools with computers and things, oh, this don't matter and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I forget what they call it, but the, the 1080 used that GDR5 something memory. It's a it's a souped up version of the memory. And of course the uh, Titans used it, stuff like that, and now they're on the new card using GDR6. Well, I don't know much about GDR6 yet. But the underlying technology of GDR5 that they maxed out at the, the 1070 Ti, that technology is basically the same technology they've had for a decade, actually longer. But these systems are about a decade old. So the way I look at it is that it's all in the same ballpark. It's all they all play nice together. Which is why, you know, the, the 1060 works in there just fine. Whereas some of the AMD cards, you know, that used some of their newer altered memory doesn't like it. Now, is it the memory? Could be, could could not be. It could be the way the processor works. But for what, I, what I've read is some people have been having issues with some of the newer AMD cards not working in systems like this. Whereas the NVIDIA did. Well, the underlying foundation of, of NVIDIA has been staying the core, has been staying the same with their their processors, if you will, and of course the memory. It's just been getting faster versions, you know, and doing little dances on the side with their, their processors. But at the heart of it, it's still the same kind of technology. Now, it, it, this statement isn't perfect. There's flaws in what I'm saying, and I notice people's going to pick that apart. But at the end of the day, it's st still all in the same ballpark where everybody knows everybody. Some old people, some young people, but everybody knows everybody. When you start getting into this newer kind of memory, I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's going to play nice, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's better just to avoid that. Now, I know it sounds crazy me saying all this stuff, but if you want to be in the safe zone, you know, you pay all that money for it, that's the way I would do it. But here's the thing. Forget all that. Forget everything I just said, because it's irrelevant in this sense. You wouldn't want to go beyond a 1070 for the simple fact that anything beyond the 1070, you're you're throwing your money down the drain because the 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 graph starts to change on the bottleneck of the system. The 1060 has a slight bottleneck because of the the PCI Express 2.0 and the older technology. It's got a bottleneck. So you could squeeze out a 1070, but anything beyond that, the bottleneck jumps so much that 
you're you're putting a faster card in there and you would get a faster experience but the ratio you're losing so much performance because of the system it's in you're wasting your money so even though theoretically you probably could throw a, a 1080 into the Dell Precision T7400 you wouldn't want to because you're wasting your money would I not use the 1070 Ti in there? I might would but I would not use the 1080 and I would probably not go any further than the 1070 the reason I might would use the 1070 Ti in the Dell Precision T7400 excuse me, is because it has all the extra CUDA cores and I do graphic series work that can take advantage of all them CUDA cores um, so on and so forth but beyond that I wouldn't use it and like I said I would not use a 1080 in it at all the idea of having a 1080 oh yeah it'd be nice but I wouldn't waste the money and I, you know, I just wouldn't go in there so long story short fastest card to use on my suggestion would be a 1070 and the Dell Precision T5400 1070 Ti on the Dell Precision 7400 but even there you're probably better just to stick with the 1070 now if you don't want to have to use any adapters at all of course the max you can go is the 1060 6 gigabyte now edit video ends here start new video okay I'm leaving this in on purpose because with that said you know and I just talked about the memory not playing nice and all that stuff the new 10, 2060 it might I'm hearing that it's going to have older technology it might have the older kind of processor not have the new RT technology that deals with the lighting but have the GDR6 memory it might work I don't know how GDR6 would work in these systems but if it's just another you know doubling tripling however you want to put it version of the, the GDR5 if that's all it is then the memory would probably still work and you know I don't know but there is hope is what I'm getting at there's hope for the the 2060 you might even be able to use the the 2070 in the 7400 system it, it it won't work in the 5400 because it's the wattage isn't right but that is a, a big risk and a humongous bottleneck so I wouldn't fool with the, the 2070 at all in one of these systems. Just forget about it. And of course, the 28 is definitely out of the question. But you might be able to use the 2060 and the 2050 when they come out with it. You might be able to use them. Don't know. There's no way of telling at this point. So if you're curious about the 20 series, um, you won't be able to go beyond the 10 or 2070s and I wouldn't go beyond the uh, the 2060s so there you go I hope that kind of filled it all out because I'm adding this on there at the end because I know people's gonna start asking about the 20 series here shortly so the 2070 is the max you'd want to use in the uh, the precision teeth 7400 the 2060 will probably be the max you'd want to use in the I don't know the wattage of it yet but it's probably going to be 150 watts or below um, so that would be the max you'd want to use in the T5400 but again I don't even know if the technology is going to be that friendly but wattage wise that's the card you could use in those thank you